Hi everyone, Sarah back again today and I am playing with this absolutely gorgeous cheerful kit from Mercy Tierra Kits. Um, I did an unboxing. If you haven't seen that, that's okay, but it is on my channel if you want to go watch it. Um, I showed you there that I did a bunch of fussy cutting. I mean, I don't know how fussy it is since it was just a bunch of circles, but I did do some of the holly and leaves as well. Um, but I will be using bits and pieces from the Cheerful Main Kit, Embellishment Kit, add-on, the, um, well, I guess technically I'm not using the ad paper pack, but I do have it too, um, and the cardstock add-on. I also use the Mixed Media Kit as well, um, just a few things from it. So you'll see me go through and use those. Um, I'm using three photos, uh, from last year actually because I mean it's not Christmas yet but I didn't scrapbook all of my photos from last year so it's okay I think it's perfectly fine um I don't know I can't decide if I'm gonna make some more layouts without photos on them or I mean I do have a few photos here and there from last year that I didn't scrapbook thus I'm scrapbooking these um so I don't know let me know what you guys think do you guys are you guys okay with me scrapbooking some layouts that don't actually have photos but have mats and stuff for when the holiday season comes and I have those pictures and then I can just share those with y'all again once I add my photos and maybe add a little more something something to the layouts? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Anyways, so I had laid a bunch of that stuff out where I thought I wanted it and then I'm like, hey, let's knock it all off of there. And I went ahead and grabbed one of the stencils from the mixed media add-on. And I grabbed some Distressed Oxide and Black Soot from my stash. Um, and I'm going to just do some messy stenciling on the background. It looks like a complete and utter mess. And I'm okay with that because I didn't want it to be perfect. Um, I did line it up quite a bit. But as you see, it's like all over. And then I grabbed that gorgeous, gorgeous Distressed Spritz barn door and splattered it all over my layout. That is not the last you'll see with that one. I will do it again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this with my paper towels because I am completely and utterly impatient. Um, and I went ahead and grabbed my 3D foam from my stash and I'm putting it behind my photos so they'll all be popped up so I just slide all this other stuff underneath them. That way the photos are up and, you know, above everything, I guess. I mean, pretty much, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Uh, I keep having a problem with some of my stuff falling towards me, but I also wanted to grab my, um, my distressor there. I'm distressing the edges of all of these circles and I'm putting them down. So I decided to do it a little different than what I did when I laid everything there in the beginning. So I started with my pinks and reds and then I went to my greens and there's little bits of black here and there. I added a couple of the little pieces that are like the cream colored background with the writing on it like newspaper text and stuff like that. I love those kind of things. And then I'm going to pop in just a couple of the smaller black ones instead of the really big ones. Um, just tying in that background a little more. I liked the black, just the little pops. And then, I mean, this is just kind of what I do. I've got things down where I like them. So I'm just going to kind of lift the edges of them up and stick some glue underneath them. Um, so they stay where they're at. Uh, I'm going to work my way around the entire layout as I move it in a circle. <laughs> and add some glue underneath the edge of them so that they can still pop up. So that is what I'm doing right now. I absolutely love this kit though. It is so gorgeous. There are so many pieces. There's bits of simple stories. There's Vicky Booten. I mean, it's the colors are just fantastic too. So um, I think I finished gluing those down and I'm like, okay, I'm going to mess around with some other stuff. Um, I did remember, you know, to glue my photos down. So that was a plus. Um, and I decided I was going to use holiday fun. Let's do this. Um, and let's see that top one said holiday lights or nope, that says highlights, not holiday lights. Um, <laughs> I also added one on the left. It says best gift ever. The one on the right on top of the pink snowflake says under the tree. Um, the, the little banner at the bottom says capture the moment. They were all perfect for these photos. And so I'm distressing the edges and I'm going ahead and gluing those down as well. Um, again, I don't add a ton of glue because I always want to be able to stick stuff underneath the edges and stuff as you see me doing here with the holly. Um, I'm just kind of poking them underneath the edges and then when I get them where I want, I mean, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna glue them. I rough up the edges a little bit, just kind of roll them with my fingernails. Um, and then I wanted this really big one over here. You saw me rolling those with my fingernails too. 
Um, let's see. Yep, I grabbed my scissors because I'm this little um, instead of it being perforated like they used to do, it's just kind of one whole thing. And so I just cut it, and it just says warm and fuzzy. Um, and I glued that on top of that middle photo there, and then. Y'all, the shaker bits for this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need a lot of this. Um, So this is the cheerful uh, sequin mix. And at first I started just putting down a couple little pieces like, and then I just started sprinkling them all over the place. I'm not going to make you watch me glue every single one of those down because there was quite a few. But I went ahead and glued those down and I'm grabbing some of the paper from the pa uh, pattern or the from the cardstock add-on. And I decided to go with the red. So I'm going to gut this so I have, you know, all that paper that's still in the center so it can still be used. Um, I'm going to, I thought I might do the green. I'm kind of, I, I like the way the green looked too, but I like the bright pop of red. So I went with the red. Um, now I'm like, oh, should I have, but I like it. So it's okay. Never mind. It's good. <laughs> um, I didn't cut the top part, so I'm gonna have to go back and do that. And I'm going to rough my edges up, um, really quick over my trash can toss it to the side. I really don't look like I'm careful with things sometimes, do I? Hmm. Um, I <laughs> added some adhesive right there and I'm going to peel these off and uh, I'm going to place that down in the center. It's really not though. It's off to the side, but it's okay. No big deal. You can't really tell much when you rough up all the edges. Um, I grab that spritz again in barn door and I am splattering some more of that red here and there. And that finished this layout super fast, super easy. It was so much fun though. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I will have multiple more videos up for you to watch before too long. Make sure to join the Facebook group so you can see all the beautiful inspiration and have a great day. Bye.